Hello, Interest TV viewers and listeners. Ken Power reported its third quarter interim report this morning, and now we are doing an interview with the company's CEO, Tomi Ristimäki. Tomi, uh, your company's revenue grew over 200% year on year, and, and new orders more than tenfold in, in Q3. How would you describe um, Ken Power's performance in Q3 in your own words? Uh, definitely a strong quarter. This, this was, and, and you already mentioned it. It's nice to make uh, triple digits in growth, growth still in this with these numbers as well. And of course, the order intake for me is is a big thing. And seeing how our sales performs in there, and lo looking uh, it from our strategy point of view as well, that we are let's say increasing more in the outside of the Nordic region, like we presume. So that's going up to the plan. And also, even I, I commented actually in the in the in the review that we are a little bit behind on our recruitment schedule. But uh, looking at how we have been succeeding in there, that we have more than 300 employees, so it's tripling the uh, amount of employees compared to last year. And it's now from almost from 30 different nationalities. So that's also getting really interesting and international. Well, rapid growth there. Uh, new orders growth exceeded at least my expectations. And, and what do you think? Where is this strong demand coming from? What kind of patterns or drivers do you see in the market? I, I, I think it's, uh, of course, the, the market area is, is, is growing a lot with the EVs. But I, I think how we are making the difference is the technological solution we have today compared to our competitors. Because like I commented before as well, that I think who can make a charger today can sell it. But actually, growing faster than the market and faster, faster than competition is, is our basically the technological solution. And our solution is made for the, when the EVs are becoming a reality in the market. That there is really a lot of electric vehicle cars, and it's not anymore single uh, alone cars charging in a standalone charger. For, so we see actually this traditional charger a little bit old-fashioned way. It's for the market when you have a little amount of electric cars and our solution with scalability and this a larger number of charging points is, is targeted to the market when the EVs become, uh, become the real, reality. And I think this is actually paying off. Yes. Uh, you said in the report that the ability to scale up the component supply chains is currently a bottleneck for your growth. How, how severe are these challenges and uh, how much time it might take to solve this? I think it's a general situation affecting the whole electro electronic industry. And for us, especially, it looks, of course, the bigger we grow, bigger, bigger things it needs actually to uh, keep up with the, with the demand in, in this. And actually, how I see it, how we have succeeded in the past, I think it has been pretty good looking at actually the sales figures. And I think our purchasing team is doing excellent work. And I'm actually relying them to continue on this. But we want to keep the investors also knowledgeable on, on the situation on the market and actually see that where uh, where the possible, uh, let's say, delays in, in, in the revenue uh, growth might be coming from. So this is this is actually the... If we can talk with the delays in revenue growth with our, our current figures, but this is basically the, the fact that is coming from the market. All right. For, for me, it seems that the demand clearly exceeds supply currently in the market. Do you see it as an opportunity to push up sales prices or have you been doing that already? And it's more or less uh, also a tool for us to mitigate uh, the inflation uh, things, how it's uh, affecting the manufacturing costs. That's more important to even to even to work with that. And we have been doing that like we communicated last time as well. This is one of the tools. And it, it's it's in certain products, certain segments, it, it's going forward. Uh, well, um, finally, about North America expansion. In the interim report, you say that uh, you consider different entry options when it comes to expanding into North America, including MTA or partnership models. What are the key bottlenecks that you would like to bypass with such options? And are these bottlenecks different from uh, the bottlenecks in Europe? Yeah, I think it's uh, when you talk about US and, and what's what's key, it's speed, speed, and speed. Uh, 
this is actually the market is coming up fast because the Navy, Navy grants are being actually granted next year. And if you want to be selected by your customers for these kind of projects, you, you need to comply with certain things. And I think we are, if, if we succeed to do what we are planning to do to be there in, in the end of 2023, I think we are in a good timing when it comes to these grants being granted. Uh, and you don't have to be fully compliant in the beginning. It, it's, it's certain things, how the rules are set. And I think this is really key for us to be in there at this time, because even the USA is behind Europe today with electric vehicle amounts and percentages. I think these uh, government subsidies will, will change the charging market, at least for short time, that there will be a heavy push. And the market shares are picking that people are trying to divide the market shares in the market. You have to be in that game, actually. And then getting the references locally and, and, and being no name in the market. And we are currently recruiting people already in the new in the North American market. And we have a within Kempo, there is a team working for that heavily at the moment and looking at all the options and, and developing the strategies and uh, operational plans on, on how to be, where to be, looking for suppliers. And this is all, all work on board. All right. Thank you, Tommy, and good luck for the rest of the year. Yeah. Thank you.